Okay, YouTubers and refrigeration technicians, we have a Beacon 2 system here. Three evaporative coolers. Our problem is you can't do a pull down. She automatically, electronically, will kill the compressor upstairs within two minutes of not uh, having an actual pull down. So, uh, we have an open EXV, not a TXV, but an EXV valve on this. Uh, which is a dual valve which does full closure and is a TXV monitoring valve for the smart cars. So what we're doing here is we are uh, have this smart controller outside offline and disconnected from the system. We are now what's in the service mode and how I got into the service mode forcing it into the service mode is taking the jumper this black jumper cable here you see here and going from service uh, on the plug, where it says service, it says compressor, common, to common. This will force the unit into service mode, which will electronically, theoretically close all three valves. We have a service here, a service down there on that display, and it says SER on that display all the way down there. We also take the compressor wire off of compressor and move it to the 24 volt terminal which will keep the compressor on because you need some time for it to draw down or keep drawing down now what you notice here uh, this took a couple minutes to do let me get my light on here we have no frost on the coil so that has complete shutdown. We walk down here. We have no frost on the coil. We go down to this puppy, and guess what? We have frost on the coil. So that means we have a valve not shut down. So what I'm going to do is now go upstairs, uh, shut down the suction valve take everything in the uh, pump it down and remove that TXV to start it. So, just for grids here, I will take this, I will take it out of service, okay? So there is the service, there is the C, those two were jumped and put into service, you can see it's now coming out, it's in the off position, it's going to cycle back through to go to refrigeration. So there's how we determine where the bad the TXV, EXV valve. And actually, we also had a bad one on here last week, so we had two on this system. And there's the EXV uh, that we'll be replacing down there on the end. So hope this helped you out for you Beacon 2 guys. Talk to you later.